Ow. Ow. You. Ah, you. Right then, folks, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the uh, under sink cupboard. And today, a few van jobs to get on with. So, first things first, I'm going to change this tap. I hope. Right, how did you fit in there? person if only I had access to a tiny person ah. I have to call for help help is needed I know I told you it's a pain in the ass of a job I'm glad you're here, you can see what happens. Right, stop your whinging. See what's involved in these like... Oh, just change that tap for me. Just switch that tap over, will ya? I'll go down your builder's butt. Right, get out my builder's butt because I'm trying to concentrate. Don't kiss me, it's not a kissing mm. moment. It's not that kind of job. It's not that kind of job. Yeah, it's not that kind what of job. What kind of job um, warrants, ki oh, warrants <laughs> kissing then? <laughs> Ready? Which way am I going? Oh, there's so much space available for this. <laughs> Get a van, you said. It'll right. be fun, you said. Oh, what? No one can see it's me doing it. It's me. <laughs> I mean, who, who needs Louise anyway? Don't steal my jewelry, I'll take it out. So the job's gone from changing the van tap to now relocate, fixing that and relocating it in our kitchen in the house. This is why I don't invite you along to the DIY jobs. Although, tell me if you finished a bathroom. Bathroom's coming along, bathroom's coming along lovely. Knob. Right. Hang on, hang on, hang on. We don't do everything in one take, babe. You know where to really <laughs> position the camera, Reposition different angle. Reposition the camera. Come over here. Throw them bad boys away, don't need them. Ooh. <laughs> hang on, I can't see it. Ooh, new tap, new tap. Oh, don't be a bell end, you stupid. Ah, you f piece of. Ah! Ah, you sh stupid, stupid wanking tap. Is that tight enough or not? We like it tight. Hang on then, let me move my head away from all this water. And electrics. Right, turn him on. So when we initially built out this van and we put the whole build series on YouTube, by far the most popular question I used to get asked was where did I get all the skills to build a van? Now to be honest, most of them I learned years ago when I very first started work as a teenager and I had to rely heavily on blokes at work showing me how to do it and being able to spend time with people that had the skills and just picking up little bits as I, as I went along through the years and eventually I, I gathered a bit of a skill set to, to build out this van. Now that we're making so much travel content, that question's been replaced with where did we get the skills for our filmmaking and our photography? 
And to be honest, it's thanks to the internet. Now I've pretty much taught myself all of it from online courses on platforms such as Skillshare, and Skillshare are the sponsor of this week's video. Now, if you've not heard of Skillshare before, they're a huge online learning community with literally thousands of courses based around creativity. Uh, for me, it's been absolutely brilliant to help me advance my creative skills in the filmmaking and hopefully bring you guys better content. So right now I'm doing iPhone filmmaking by Caleb Babcock and Niles Gray. It's a brilliant and engaging course and what I love most about the platform is there's absolutely no ads. So my full attention is on learning and because it's all online, I can literally do it wherever, whenever, which when you travel as much as we do is a massive plus. So it doesn't matter what level you're at, whether at the beginning of your creative journey or a bit more experienced, there's classes for absolutely everyone in a huge range of creative subjects from photography and filmmaking to creative writing, animation and even web development. The list is endless. So if Skillshare sounds right up your alley, then the first 1000 of our subscribers to click the link in the video description below get a one month free trial. So yeah, give it a go. I can't recommend it highly enough and it really does help me with my creative skills. Right, now that the jobs are done, it's time for the tidy up. You don't need me to film that, do you? You've seen that before. Now I know you're all dying to know what's in that box and it is a step for the van, for the sliding door to get in and out. I wasn't too fussed about fitting a step but you know, Emily is small, she does have a bit of a trouble getting in and it means we ain't got to carry around the ladders for her to keep getting in and out which would be a massive bonus. So I'm just heading over to me mate Will's house, I'm under strict instructions, no flip flops today because we're going to be grinding and welding I believe. A bit nervous because I've never ever ever welded before and when I was young, I used to do this kind of stuff all the time. I didn't give a toss. I'd be like, you know, I'd, for bravado, I worked in a very male orientated world. There wasn't very, well, there wasn't any girls doing it when I'd done it. So yeah, I used to have to pretend that I was fine with all this stuff and just get on with it. But now that I've got older, you know, I've changed. I'm like, well, I might hurt myself. So yeah, gonna give it a go. So like I say, I could catch on fire. I could burn some skin. It could go horribly wrong, but Will knows what he's doing. So hopefully it's not gonna be too bad. So I've got my shoes, wearing trousers, I bought a jumper in case I need sleeves and he said I don't need to bring anything else, he's got everything I need for the job except for I had to pop and get in some donuts and they're not just any donuts, oh no, Sainsbury's donuts he had to have but um, he has literally provided all the tools and the skills to do this job so yeah I guess we'll pick you up when we get there because I want to beat this bus I don't know why I want to beat this bus, this bus has done nothing to me I'm just going to let the bus go by I'm gonna let the bus go by. So I've just rocked up, I bought Willie's donuts and this is the response I'm getting. What do you think of your donuts, Will? Apparently they're the wrong ones and they're not enough. But you're lucky Emily's not here because if Emily had come, you'd be getting none. You'd have to buy two packets. At least two packets. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just going to get it out of the box. This will be our workspace for the day, but look at Will's garage. Look at all that, tools for days. Oodles of it. It's like Steptoe's yard. Here you live, hello, hello. So it's a fuel, massively overpriced step. Get these four brackets, and um, I just guess they go on there somewhere. Yeah, on there. And then we need to make a mount. I think we need to make a mount. I'm telling you, like I know, I ain't got a clue. I'm going to make a mount that's going to fit to that and then fit to the chassis. Yeah. Yeah. Easy. What could go wrong? 
From the from the grind in there, and I thought it was fine, but apparently, Will, what was you just telling me? With a nine-inch grinder, you set yourself alight a few times. <laughs> so I don't know what's more scary, being on fire or the nine inches. So that's all the pieces of the bracket cut, and now we have to weld it together. And Will says I've got to do it myself. So not gonna lie, even even Olive knows that it's probably a bad idea. But yeah, gonna crack on, give it a go, see what I can do. And if not, Will will have to finish it for me. But yeah, I'm gonna try. Look at that beast. So for the technically minded, it is a Murex 240 MIG welder, I think. I'll check with welder, but I think so. I'm not gonna lie, bricking it slightly. Right, you notice the hat has gone backwards. Massive safety feature, feature. you'll see why in a minute. Are you gonna have a practice run? Yep, Will's gonna give me some health and safety top tips. I'm not going in blind. I might be coming out blind. <laughs> Here we go. doing what everybody does, just go way too fast. So slower, yeah? Yeah, what you want to do is do it, get it thick like that, uh -huh. like that. You're literally go, going like that. You want to sit there and watch the puddle melt uh -huh. up. Right, slowly does it. See the difference? Oh, yeah. Yeah. If, if you hold it a little bit closer, yep. uh, you'll get even better penetration. 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 About the penetration. It's not really my area though, is it? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna get it on in a bit, so. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah, about halfway. Got to put it all on yet, no, haven't we? Yeah. Got to get it on. Got to get it on. Yeah, we're gonna get it on in a bit, so. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, all right, lovely. <laughs> She's so straight like. <laughs> I know. <laughs> She's probably missed it. Yeah. Well, what are we talking about? <laughs> no one cares, though. Is, is that all you rang for, just to check on our work rate? Yeah. Uh, are we, have we passed? Can we crack on? Well, I don't know. You've been a while. You're only halfway. How long does these things take? <laughs> okay. She'll stick with the office. Just stick yeah. with the office you stuff. Stick with the office stuff is what is right. You crack on. You do some paperwork. And let the real men crack on. <laughs> I'm not doing for nothing. We've had a marquee up in this time. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> right, you're going. <laughs> right, bye, look, bye. bye. Yeah, when you're weaving, slow the weave down so you can literally watch it melt in. It's blind panic, that's what it is. Oh, it is. It's, it'd be like me picking up a camera. It's a lot easier than this. <laughs> you 
You can have that one if you want. Mm. Oh, you know, you can't because you're going to have to put your thing on. No, I can stand here and. Uh... No, you'll get sore eyes. Oh, do Were you about to see? No, but I've only got to hold the bloody camera. <laughs> Ready? Hit it, baby. Tea break while that's cooling down. Yeah, tea break, that's hot work, isn't it? It is hot, yeah. It didn't even catch on fire. <laughs> I didn't want to use too much. Is that not like you wasting? Is that wasting paint? Yeah, a professional's gonna do it. I'll go out of it, you might need to come and put it all the way in. Stick it in a bit further then. I can't! I can't get it in! Got it. Yeah, that one's good. See, we've done the old bitch, we've got both these on now, haven't it? Piece of cake, this. I'm not gonna lie, I'm absolutely shattered. It's been a while since I've done anything as physical as this. Four screws left to go. Come on, people, four screws. So the step is fitted, it's finished, it's all on and secure and looking lovely. Um, I've just got home. I am not gonna lie to you, I am absolutely shattered. It's been quite some time before I done, before I did, before I see, knackered. It's been quite some time before I done any kind of physical work just like that, probably actually the first lockdown when I finished work work, I am done in. So I will show you the step in full detail tomorrow when I show Emily, because she's very excited. I've had her on the phone a couple of times and I thought she was like pestering me home, but she's just really excited about her step. But yeah, look at that. I don't know if you can see that is proper signs of a proper day's work. I've got an injury. I've got war wounds. Yeah, done in. And I know what you lot are thinking. It's just a, a little step install, but yeah. Big deal, but really pleased I've done it because I'm proper psyched now that I can do basic welding. Obviously, I know I'm not a top welder, but you know, I'm getting there. 
But yeah, I'm gonna go and do something I haven't done for quite some time. I'm gonna go and have a bath. Oh, I do normally shower, I am clean, but I haven't had an actual bath for ages, but all that crawling under the van, I ache. So yeah, but I'm not gonna film that. I won't be filming that. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. It's step day. Oh, I'm chilling on my own hair. <laughs> it's windy as well. I'm so excited to see my step. I've only waited 24 hours. Is that it? Yeah, 24 hours. Feels like a lifetime. How does it work? <laughs> so bend down. Yep. There's a little uh, button underneath, like put your hand under. There's like a, no, not that high, right on the edge. Yeah, just lift that up and pull the step out. Oh my God. How cool is that? Let's put it to the test. Let's see how good your welding is. <laughs> see if it holds your weight. <gasps> Oh, it's super cool. No more, look. Da, da, da. Go get my steps up. No, I don't break it. <laughs> it's well cool though, right? And can you sit on it like this? Just chilling. It's cool, right? Uh -huh. No more having to do this. Show them where to, so stand on the floor. So why we needed a step. So it comes above your knee. Yeah. So you was having to proper launch to get in there. Oh you? yeah, like genuinely. It's like, and then if we're up on shocks, it's like up here. It's hard for me to get in with these like stubby little things. So yeah, the step is, is very, very needed and appreciated. I'm loving it. Thanks, Will. So as you can tell, Emily is pretty impressed with the step and for some reason, Will's got all the brownie points and probably rightly so to be fair, because I couldn't have done it without him. Um, if you're wondering why we had to manufacture our own bracket, it's because it's a universal step, so it doesn't actually fit onto the chassis of the van. So you can buy a fixing kit, but you know, that's just boring. This was way more fun. Uh, but basically it's a really easy install. Once we've made the bracket, you just bolt the bracket uh, four places on the chassis and then the step does come with little adjustable brackets. So you can sort of set the height and set it in and out to suit your van, I guess. Um, I will pop under with a camera and just give you a quick pan round uh, just in case you didn't get all that information from the install but yeah relatively easy I know for people with experience but for someone like me who's never done it yeah really really fun to do I cannot thank Will enough for taking the time out to giving up a whole day basically to to let me ponce around in his garage and teach me how to weld or the basics of welding I know I'm no expert but yeah really really fun and if there's someone in your life like Will that's willing to show you these things my recommendation is no matter how scary it may be is learn it because now if i ever need to do basic welding as long as i can find someone to lend me a welder i could probably get by and do the basics so yeah massive thanks will and also i'd like to thank skillshare again for sponsoring this video so remember if you do want to give it a try the first 1000 of people that click the link in the description get a month's free trial and on that note i'm pretty much going to end the video there not sure if there's going to be a video next week we'll see i need to get the van booked into the garage because we have yet another issue um, but more about that later and I'll see you. Oh, if you haven't subscribed, I have opened the door now, so I'm going to cap it at 25,000 subscribers. So if you like this video, click the red button that says subscribe, you're sorted. And I'll see you guys on the next one.